Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. We're gonna go over some past client work, how to structure your landing page, all the different sections you need on your landing page to convert well, get more clients, sell more for your e-com brand. There's gonna be some bonus too on how I differ my e-com clients with my agency and service clients as well. So stay tuned to the following videos. And we're gonna cover sections such as the hero section, CTAs, benefits, testimonials, reviews, more CTAs, process section, about us, facts sections, and of course the footer, which a lot of people don't have. So stay tuned, we're gonna cover that. I hope you enjoy. I'm here for all your landing page needs, any questions, whether it's services, agencies, coaches, or e-commerce. Let me know, have a great time everyone. Hey guys, so we're gonna review landing page hero sections, the most important part of your landing page. This is the first thing people are gonna see. You need to make sure you have all of the right elements in here before anybody scrolls down. Get everything organized in the section correctly and you will convert more, I promise you. Now the way, we, the way I generally structure a hero section depends on the assets the client has. So for instance, for this client, this is a lead gen agency. They didn't have a VSL, they didn't want to do a VSL. I always just make sure it's bold hook header, bold header, subheading, CTA, usually some bullets, and a VSL. So here there's no VSL, so I rearrange it differently. I mean, I just focus on this bold hook, subheader, CTA with a hover, and then I add a kind of effect with these stats. So for clients like this, stats is really important. Stats is basically, it's another way of putting bullets and you're just showing proof and ability of your brand and company, what you've done. This is, stats is gonna be good. Another client, this was a coaching client, so he had a VSL, so this is great. So I did header, VSL, subheading, CTA, and he had legit reviews, he had very great reviews on Trustpilot, so I put those here in the right amount. Done, easy. Another way I would do it is if a client had video reviews, I might fit one or two or just a row of video reviews there, so you're gonna at least see the top of the video reviews in there but he had mainly text reviews, so we did it like this. And then I'll put the text reviews further down. For a basketball coach you find, he had a basketball academy, so he had a nice video trailer already, so I wanted to put this, plus pricing info, CTA, and I did the bullets like this. He had this nice pink and turquoise theme, so I wanted to just make use of that, put it as bullets, bam, 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 nice and unique. Now for an e-commerce client, what I did is, we had same, they had a VSL video trailer here, uh, they added a lot of text recently. Normally I would condense it, but this is recently they wanted to add more for SEO purposes. But I added bullets here as well, row bullets here. E-commerce too, it's important to have on Shopify, Replo, Shopify Secure Checkout, have some credit cards there. This just adds more trust as well. So do you see there's many ways to structure your hero section, but you need the five most important things, header, subheading, clear CTA, VSL, some sort of bullets or reviews before you even scroll down, you're gonna convert better. We're gonna review now benefit sections on your landing pages. This is so important and I always get into the benefits right after the hero section. So after the initial CTA, once they scroll down, just get into benefits. So this was for a coaching client I did on Framer, the top three benefits. Then I usually have two sections of benefits at least. Then I'll have another one like how we're different. Another agency client, I did the top four benefits here. I did a little bit differently. This one with images. Then after process, I'll get into it again. Here was another benefit section, five benefits, plus a CT as well. Then another client, benefits here again, similar to the last one, like that. Top benefits, then I go again. Five more benefits, just benefits, benefits. Why? Always the top benefits, then when you do it again, why choose us? Why are we better? How we're better? How do we help you? Why? How is it gonna make your life better? X, Y, Z. Then for another client, I did their page on Replo. For their product, I did benefits here, the top four with the CTA. Then, because e-com, you also need a feature section, so you do benefits and features. Then when I do a product section, I'll have more benefits again. Then at the end, benefits at the very end as well. Just like that, so just benefits, benefits. Always get into the benefits first. Once you've exhausted all the benefits, then okay, if there's some more features you can talk about and show, maybe with some images or a video, that'll work. All right guys, we're gonna talk about now what is possibly the most money-making section of any landing page. It is the reviews, the testimonials. So what I love to do, with clients is it's all about optics and how many reviews they have do they have video reviews is it text reviews this client's page I did he had a lot of reviews so I wanted to put it all there two rows moving at a somewhat good speed 
hovers, when you hover, it slows down a bit. But here you just see, wow, this guy's got a lot of views. He's got a lot of social proof. He's got the money. He's got the experience. Another client here, for instance, he only had a few reviews. So I did one row. I made it slower. I still wanted some kind of animation hover effect as well. But again, it's about the optics. Social proof, the more the better. But whatever this client's got, I will adjust and tailor to that. For an e-com client, I did this where, again, they had a few reviews. This was done on Replo. So having the stars, having like this, the reviews more thought out, more written out. Ideally, what I love to do is clients with video reviews, putting video reviews first and then text reviews. But I know a lot of businesses, brands may not have video reviews. So I work with them on what they have. Reviews are very powerful and I would argue probably the most important section aside from the hero on your page. People want to know if other people have worked with you, other talk about you, other people like you, and that you simply deliver, your results deliver. That's what it comes down to. Does your business deliver? Does it improve people's lives? That's it. Another section on landing pages that doesn't get talked about enough is the process. So the process is just walking people through, through what it's like to work with you, keep it very simple. This is mainly for service businesses and B2B and agencies. So e-com pages, I'll do it a little bit different. But for service businesses, I'll add a process section for their pages. So four steps is ideal. If you need it down to four, that's perfect. No more than five, but four is just a good number. Three even, but most businesses are gonna have more than three steps. So just one, two, three, four. And if you're, depending how often your CTA repeats, add another CTA below it. Another client I did, I did the process like this. So just kind of breaking it up, going more with their theme and just sliding one, two, three, four. So there's many different ways to do it, many ways to skin a cat. But yeah, it's something that's very important and it can make a difference as well. When it comes to landing pages, you really want all of the pieces coming together and eventually it becomes more than the sum of its parts. I want to go over fact sections. This is something I see missing on a lot of businesses' pages, whether it's e-com, agency, services, SaaS, whatever. A lot of people are missing fact. Fact is so important to qualify leads, to qualify clients, get the right people buying your products, booking calls with you, making sure if you're selling an e-com product, you're getting less returns. It's a service business agency, making sure people get the most important information and only people are booking calls with you who are supposed to book calls with you. It's gonna just save you a lot of time. So this is one client's website I did. Generally, I recommend most service businesses try to have five questions or less. I'll show you an example of one with more than five questions, but generally try to keep it to the five most important questions. I know some are gonna have like 10, some eight. So I like doing this style, just very clean, going vertical down like this, very just nice, easy to read. Another client site, I did it like this. They had more of a dark theme. This is an agency client. They did a lead gen agency, very nice, simple. Let's say they wanna know if they're locked into your service, can they cancel? The most important pain points, the longer you're in this game, you're gonna see what kind of common concerns and questions they're gonna have when they do pull calls with you. So you can address these before they even get to that call. Now I have another one here for a basketball coaching client. Nice, easy questions for him. Now here is a fragrance brand. This one was built on Replo, so the other pages were built on Framer. This is e-commerce, so for this I build in Replo. Replo, you can build the same thing out. Nice and easy, page adjusts. Here's another client I built on Replo. They had more questions, materials. They had a lot more questions. Actually, we were able to condense it to the most important ones, just keep it bare bones, but that might change over time. If you want to keep it to five or six, you can swap in and out different questions, return, refund policy. Generally, if you're on Shopify Replo, you'll have a shipping policy and return policy page at the bottom of the footer, but I know some brands, they like to have it in the fact as well, which is fine. And recently, I want to show you I built a landing page on Framer for my wedding actually. And I've been experimenting with this new format because for here you see I have eight questions for our wedding. And yeah, I really like the style, very clean, more of a box. You can see a lot more questions in one fold. So I really like this. By the way, Moroccan dish, Moroccan pastilla, Rafiza, awesome dishes. I really like this. Probably for future clients, if they have more than five questions, I'm gonna be playing around with this style more. Anyway guys, wanted to share this with you. Make sure you always add a fact section on your landing page. So one section on landing pages that is really not talked much or even at all is the footer. The footer is your final push. It's when people get to the end of the page, you wanna give them that one last CTA, that one final push to take action and get to the next step. So here for this client, have their nice colors, get started now. And it's usually after the fact. Another agency client, after the fact, 
book a call now. Last one. Are you ready for growth? Are you ready to skyrocket sales? Are you ready to change your life? Coaching client, again, ready to succeed. An e-com client, brand. With e-com, what I like to do is also add some reviews. Add one last review. Add some stars. Add some more benefits like this. The credit cards. Feel bliss now. Shop. Spend money. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. So make sure to give that one last push. You don't want to have people going, scrolling back up to find the CTA or wherever. Just make it very easy for people. One last CTA, one last push. What's next? I want to get into some recent client work and show you our framework very clearly. Here's Qdon Leads. This is an agency we did some work for recently. We built them a new landing page. And yeah, getting into it right now. Important, starting with a bold hook, a header, saying clearly what your business does. Scale your real estate business with better leads. In the sub editing, here's where we explain how, how is your business gonna help people. And then the CTA front and center, easy to click and find above the fold, nice in contrast. With them, they didn't have so many reviews from the start. So I started the top with just some stats, some simple stats to show like build authority, credibility, 600, 800% ROI, gross margin, how many leads per day they can get people. Then getting to benefits right away, just the four main benefits, explained very clearly what is possible, what can be done. CTA, again, that's very crucial have the CTA repeat again. They just got some testimonials recently, putting some reviews down here. This is nice and easy with, I build this page on Framer, so Framer really is a nice, modern, effective way to really take your pages to the next level. Then next, the process. They have a four-step process. Here we put it really clearly, nice and simple, easy to understand, taking people through the process. Capitalize on untapped opportunities, getting to the benefits a bit more. Then here, we explode and expand even more on the benefits. Five main benefits again, and nice CTA showcasing in a different way now. You know, book a call now ASAP, start ASAP. Fact, this is very important, and I see a lot of businesses are missing this on their pages. Fact, basically, you're frequently asked questions. This is so important to qualify. This is where you're gonna really qualify prospects and qualify people. So in any important main questions people have, they're gonna be able to just see it here and not waste your time booking calls to ask you these simple questions they could have already found on your page. Then in the end, we end with one final CTA, getting people to take the next step. Now, next, I wanna show you another agency. I did a page redesign for them. Basically, this redesign, you see their text, their original font, it's just too big. We help D2C. It, I wanted to start with the benefit first, lower your acquisition costs first. Then the BSL, which the guy, if you go down his page, he has a BSL, he didn't add it. Another crucial thing is he has two CTAs. Two CTAs does not work. It is too confusing if you have people going in different locations. You want to just get people to book a call with you right away. They already have your work, your past work on the page as you go down. And they have logos of brands they work with, which is great. But if you have testimonials, which they have, that is even more powerful. There's nothing more powerful than somebody physically talking about you and how much they're excited and love to work with you on a video. So those logo brands I would still put on the page, but later I would instead put a video testimonial. Now getting into it, this is the framework we use for agencies, B2B businesses and services. Here is the high converting landing page framework. Like I said before, I've got a headline, subheading VSL CTA. This is all above the fold in the hero section. Next, we get into social proof, benefits, 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 more social proof, as much social proof as you have. We're gonna show it in different ways on video, text, case studies, even if it's a TikTok video or whatnot, if you guys have, or a YouTube video. CTA again. Then we're gonna explain the process very clearly, crystal clear, and then what's included, what do people get when they work with your business. Another CTA, About Us is really good. Having an About Us is fantastic. Just show, showing more of your personality, who you are, explaining your brand more. Social proof again, if you have. Then ending with the FAQ, and one final CTA for that last push. Tying that all in together now is gonna be your sales funnel at a whole. So from the top level, I'm just showing you the whole process of your funnel, how your landing page fits in with your whole framework and your whole system. The landing page is the foundation. Landing pages is where people come, and you have all these structures and components that I mentioned earlier. Basically, for agencies and service businesses, the landing page, then with the CTA, you'll take people to book a call. The process is they show up, intro a call to your services. If they don't show up, follow up via email, WhatsApp. You'll set this up in your Calendly properly as Calendly or Cal.com can work as well. I prefer Calendly. Next, after the intro call with them, let's say they want to begin in pay or let's say they're not ready to begin, set a future follow-up call. Always go for that future follow-up call. Don't just let the meeting end in the abyss with nothing happening. If from the beginning there's a no-show, you still follow up, you just keep following up, give it a few more tries, follow up with them, but don't spam them. Give it a few days, a couple days. And for clients, for people who are ready to begin in pay, they pay you, client work begins, and that's it. And it all stemmed 
from a properly structured, very effective winning landing page structure. But if you're looking to scale your business in 2024, here's what will happen when you work with us. You'll be able to stop worrying about how to predictably and reliably grow your business. You will only get qualified prospects booking directly to your calendar. You and your sales team will be able to spend less time on qualifying and more time on higher ROI tasks, follow up and nurture. You will have an optimized page that does the selling for you instead of having to prove yourself to your prospects. Here's our process really clearly. A 30 minute discovery call to review your current page and offer. Upon signing, you'll receive your draft of the page within seven days. In week two, we'll be fine tuning the page and helping you with the VSL if you don't already have one. Page will be finalized and ready to be live by the end of week three. So if you're interested in this offer, click the link below and speak with me and my team. Have a great day and speak soon.